Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss folded dipole antenna. And we will see what is the difference between ordinary dipole antenna and folded dipole antenna. Ordinary, so see here, this is an ordinary dipole. As you know that, this is the ordinary dipole. What is the difference between an ordinary dipole and a folded dipole? Okay, so you know that for an ordinary half wave dipole, the resistance is 73 ohms, but for a folded dipole antenna, the resistance is that the impedance is more when compared to uh, dipole antennas. The impedance of the resistance, okay, the impedance of folded dipole antenna, the impedance of folded dipole antenna. is more when compared to and compared to uh, ordinary type ordinary type okay so the important what is the what is the difference the important modification of conventional half wave dipole uh, in which the two half wave dipoles have been folded and joined together as shown in this figure so this, let us consider this is one dipole, this is another dipole, okay. So one of the dipole is continuous, this is, this dipole is continuous, this dipole is continuous and the other one is split at the center, okay, the other one is split at the center, okay. The folded dipole which is split, uh, the folded dipole which is split at the center is fed with balanced transmission. So this is the balanced transmission, it is fed with the balanced transmission. And as a result, the voltage at the end, so the two, two dipoles are same. And the radiation fields are concerned, the two dipoles are found to be parallel. Note that the radiation pattern of the conventional half wave dipole and the folded dipole, uh, uh, folded, uh, dipole are exactly the same. But the main difference between the two is that the input impedance okay, of folded dipole is much higher than that of the conventional half wave type, then the top the conventional half wave type, okay. So, uh, now let us consider uh, very, uh, we, design, we design this uh, very, very important derivation in this, that is uh, design expressions so of design uh, calculation of derivation for input impedance, derivation for input impedance of derivation for so very very important one derivation of input impedance. Okay, so we draw some here derivation of very very important one input impedance input <coughs> impedance of folded folded dipole and derivation of input impedance of folded dipole and okay so let us consider folded dipole means if two dipoles are there this is one dipole one dipole is continuous and the other one is so this is the thing okay here we are here we are providing the excitation here we are providing the Excitation. Okay, so see here. Let us consider a folded dipole. This is a folded dipole one, and this is folded dipole. Uh, this is dipole one and two, and the distance is lambda by two. Okay. Let us consider the current flowing through this is I one, and let us consider the current flowing through this is I two. Okay, and the separation between distance between these two dipoles are <laughs> is lambda. Okay, so consider a folded dipole. Okay, so the equivalent circuit are two folded dipole of length lambda by two. Let us apply a map applying a voltage V1. Okay, so at the ten, let us consider this is one one dash ten. Applying a voltage V1, which gets divided equally V1 by two. I'm applying V1, the applied voltage V1 is applied at terminals one and one dash one and one dash so which gets equally divided which gets equally divided 
in each dipole in each dipole as voltage V by this equation can be written as 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 so V1 by 2 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. And in this Z11, Z11 the self impedance. Z11 is the self impedance of dipole 1 and 2. Dipole 1 and 2. Whereas Z12 is mutual impedance. Z12 is mutual impedance. Z12 is mutual impedance between dipoles 1 and 2. It means the dipole 1 and 2. So here I1 and I2 is the current passing through the respective dipoles. If I, if I assume that the, both the dipoles are having equal radius, both the dipoles 1 and 2 are having equal radius, are having equal radius, then I can equate it as I1 is approximately equal to I2. I1 is approximately equal to I2. And similarly, if the separation distance, if the separation between, if the separation between the dipoles, if the separation between the dipoles, is the order of is the order of lambda by and that then self impedance self impedance can become equal to can become equal to mutual mutual impedance therefore i can write that one only the first project can do that. We can also substitute all this condition, this condition, and uh, this condition in this equation. Okay. So what happened now? If I substitute that condition, V1 by 2 is equal to um, if I take I1 as comma, okay, Z1 plus Z12 into I1. This is why because we assume that the radius are same. The radius are same, what is the pattern I have? I1 is equal to I2. Next, what is the thing I have written? V1 is equal to, that is equal to 2 into Z11 into I1. Why? Because the separation is less. The separation between dipoles is less. I can equate it to, I can equate it, self impedance is equal to Mutual impedance, mutual impedance. Okay, so therefore V1, V1 is equal to 4 Z11 I. Okay, so I am thinking that I1, V1 by I1 is nothing but impedance that is equal to 4 Z11. But if the impedance of a dipole, it is 70. So Z1 is equal to 4 into 73. So the 4 into 73 it is 292. So very, very important derivation. The impedance of a two-way uh, folded dipole is 292 volts. The impedance of a folded dipole is 292 volts. This is very, very important. Derivation of input impedance of a folded dipole, uh, it is 292 volts. Similarly, the same thing, the same thing, Derivation of if you want the thing derivation per input impedance of mm -hmm. input impedance of tripod. Tripod means so tripod means what is meant by tripod? We observe here tripod means it consists of three dipoles. This is first dipole, this is second dipole, this is third dipole. Okay. Whereas folded dipole means we, we are having only Two dipoles. And the tripole means it will have three 
three dipoles. Okay, so three, this is the one, two, three. Now let us see what is the uh, impedance of this tripod. Let us see what is the impedance of this tripod. Okay, the same thing, the same thing. If you draw this diagram like this. So this is dipole one. This is dipole two. Yes, dipole three. If I provided the supply voltage V dash here, what happened here also? Mm, uh, v one by three will get distributed equally in all three dipoles. Okay, in all three dipoles, the voltage will get divided equally in all three. And I call. So the expression, what is the expression? V1 by 3 is equal to that 1, 1, I1 plus that 1, 2, I2 plus that 1, 3, I3. What is this I1? I1 is current flowing in this dipole. One. I2 is current flowing in this. I3 is current. Okay. So next, what is the condition? I assume if all dipoles are made with all dipoles are same radius are same radius then what is the condition i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 therefore v1 by 3 is equal to i can take i1 cap it is equal to z11 plus z12 plus z13 what is this z11 z11 is the self impedance of dipole one what is this z12 the mutual impedance present between a dipole 1 and dipole 2. What is this that one? The mutual impedance present between 1 and 3. Okay. So next, what is the next condition? If the separation distance is very, very less, the separation distance is less than lambda by 100, we can equate self-impedance is equal to self-impedance is equal to mutual impedance. Self impedance is equal to mutual impedance. Therefore, V1 by 3 is equal to hmm, I1 into, I can write it as 3Z1. Okay, so V1 by I1 is equal to, I can write it as 3Z1. Okay, so therefore, next step, <coughs> we are doing this V1 by 1 is equal to 9Z11, which is nothing but impedance Z. Impedance Z. This is impedance of a tripod. Of a tripod. That is 9 into Z11. So, what is the distance of a, of a tripod? It is 73 ohms. That is equal to 657 ohms. So, this is very, very important derivation. This is very, very important derivation. For a folded dipole, for a folded dipole, the impedance that is equal to 292 ohms. For a tripod, that is equal to 657 ohms. That is equal to 657 ohms. Okay, 657. So, depending upon, for example, this is my antenna. Okay, here TV is there. Okay, so we want to provide the impedance matching between this antenna and this TV. Okay, so you are connecting a coaxial cable. Okay, this coaxial cable have various uh, impedances. Okay, so depending upon the impedances, you can select the either dipole or you can select the tripod. Okay, whatever the impedance of this one should match with impedance of this coaxial cable. Okay, impedance of this coaxial cable. So, this derivation of this formula is sort of when all the dipoles are having equal radius. All the dipoles are having equal radius. Then you make a thunder answer. If the radius are not same. If the radius are not same. Means, for example, let us consider <coughs> this is one dipole and this is my second dipole. Okay, 
if you observe here, this is <coughs> this is R1 radius and this is R2 radius. Here R1 is not equal to R2. So this radius, uh, the radius of this dipole, the radius of this dipole. So the radius of this here the radius of this dipole R1 is not equal to the radius of this dipole R2. In that case, in that case, uh, the uh, it is that folded dipole have the ability of transforming impedance. Okay, so to the desired value. Okay, so for example, if the cable, if the cable wire is not so here as I told that this is my folded, uh, this is my uh, folded dipole. This is my TV, okay, depending upon the impedance, depending upon the impedance of the cable, the impedance of this cable should match with the impedance of this folded dipole, okay. So, if uh, fixed, if you take two, two, two dipole, it is 290 ohms, if you take tripole, it is 657 ohms, but if the impedance is in between these are other, other than this value, how to get matching to this, okay, then you can change the uh, radiuses, then you can change the radiuses, then the formula is z is equal to z11 into 1 plus r2 by r1 whole square. Okay. So r z is equal to 73 into 1 plus r2 by r1 whole square, where r1 is radius of dipole 1 radius so so this is very very important form the radius are not same then this is the form radius of dipole one r2 is radius of dipole okay radius of dipole two okay so the, the you can say that the folded dipole have the ability of transforming impedance ability of transforming Impen. For example, if the separation distance also we want to consider, let us consider the folded dipole, uh, this uh, dipole R1, uh, this, uh, let us consider 1 and 2, this folded dipole 1 and 2 are separated by a distance A, separated by a distance A, then the impedance formula, if the separation distance is also going to consider the formula Z is equal to Z11 into 1 plus log of a by r1 by log of a by r2 whole square this is the formula so this is also called as uh, uh, this is the formula considering for different radiuses and including for um, various radiuses various radiuses and including separation distance and including separation distance including separation distance okay so there is one factor called impedance transformation impedance transformation ratio that is ITR is equal to Z by Z11. What is its value? 1 plus log of A by R1 by log of A by R2. Oops, okay. So this is impedance transformation ratio. This is impedance transformation ratio. Impedance transformation ratio is represented with Z. Okay. So it is represented with ZR. Okay, so if you draw the graphs, if you draw the graphs, this is A by R2, and this is the graph of R2 by R1. So this is for ZR is equal to 3, this is for ZR is equal to 4, and this is for ZR is equal to 9, this is for ZR is equal to 8. Okay, so this is the graph which is showing the impedance transformation ratio. Okay. So in this uh, 
folded dipolate uh, the derivation of input number uh, input impedance of folded dipole now this is very very important folded dipole it is 292 ohms and similarly the uh, next one is derivation for in, in the dipole dipole this will have three dipoles so what two three okay so it is 657 ohms it is 657 ohms so if these two impedances are not sufficient <coughs> then we can change the radius of the dipoles in order to get the perfect matching between this uh, folded dipole and the cable folded dipole and cable okay we will consider the separation distance also okay so these are all the things regarding folded dipole uh, antenna thank you